EA, my pack luck recently hasn't been great, and maybe it's because I called you pricks a couple episodes ago, but today is my birthday, so I'm hoping, can we put the beef aside for just one day, and you can hook me up with a good birthday present like a Jerzinho, a Patrick Vieira, maybe a Samuel Eto in my base icon pack. I saved it just for today. EA, hook me up with something I can use in my team, and it's an Italian center back. Is it Maldini? I don't, I think his rating is way too high. Who is this? It's Nesta. Brilliant. We are on par for, I guess, what we should expect from EA. If you're looking for cheap and reliable EAFC 24 coins, look no further than my new partner, Footloot, and use my code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for an extra 6% at checkout. The Black Friday market crash is here, and Black Friday is just a couple days away. The market crash is coming as we've gotten new leaks for what content is going to be arriving for us in the next couple of days. We've already covered a couple of the SBCs, like Mbappe, who could drop at any moment. I mean, he could drop today, tomorrow, or Friday. I can't imagine he'll be dropping anytime after Friday. So that is pending. But we have so much more to cover today in terms of leaked packs, leaked SBCs, and cards that are going to be in the best of Team of the Week as well as best of all the promos. Something that may have surprised a few people, but we are going to get a best of of for other promos other than just team of the week and as you can see right here it's going to be 60 to 70 or more special cards that are going to be in packs all at once including team of the weeks road to the knockouts trailblazers and more and because of that leak alone we are starting to see Big cards like Modric, Dembele, DePaul, and other cards from previous promos are dropping. In fact, we got this news when I was live streaming yesterday. I told everybody, just go ahead and sell your Modric, your Lewandowski, your Dembele. Sell all your RTTKs if you still have them because they're going to go much lower. And I don't think they're stopping here. Modric right now at 300,000 coins. I think he goes even lower over the next 48 hours. So that's going to be something that if you're still holding on to, you're losing coins on. And to be honest, it is your fault. We have been saying to sell for some time now. And if you're going into this promo with investments, you're probably going to lose on them unless they're fodder. Fodder, relatively safe, and to be honest, still an opportunity to buy on some cards. But I'm going to tell you guys that even though fodder has been so successful in previous Team of the Weeks, fodder is not 100% safe because it's going to rely on the fact that EA will drop promo SBCs that are valuable. Promo SBCs that are repeatable. That Mbappe's player of the month is good value. If they make Mbappe way too expensive and nobody wants to craft it, then it's actually maybe going to cause a little bit of a backwards effect on fodder temporarily as we get closer to Friday. Whereas we're looking at 86s, yeah, they're not inflated a ton, but they were down closer to 10K. You look at 88s, they have been about 22.5, uh, and 89s have been as low as about uh, 33,000 coins. So there's room for these cards to actually go lower if there's not content that keeps them up. Black Friday, of course, historically has had tons of content to keep them up in price. And one of those things is actually going to be a huge flashback SBC that we don't actually know of yet, but we do know we're going to get more than one flashback SBC during the Thunderstruck promo. Flashback SBCs uh, in previous years have been like Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, uh, Paul Pogba, I think I won one year. And this year, again, it could be anything. But given the fact that they've been such big names in previous years and we're going to get more than one this weekend, I think that these flash app, uh, flashback SBCs could bring value to the fodder. So fodder is still something that I'm holding on to. In fact, I've got a ton of fodder in my transfer list, also in my unassigned, a little bit of fodder, and then I've also club stocked fodder as well. I've got some De Bruyne's just because of Mbappe mostly, and then I've got some 89's. I've got a ton of 88 rated cards. I've got a few 87's, and if you check my club, I've got even more all across the club. These are all tradable cards for the most part. Um, obviously not that Nesta. We packed him earlier today, unfortunately. Not exactly what we were looking for. And anyway, we've even got some 87s on the club. So that's what we're holding on to right now. Other than that, I have zero 
MetaCard investments. MetaCards are terrible to trade with at the end of November until you get to past Black Friday. Once Black Friday is over, then we can start investing in those cards once again where you're looking at players like Luka Modric maybe or more... Uh, more likely, players like Caroline Graham Hansen, Valverde, Van Dyke. Uh, if you look at Caroline Graham Hansen, who's actually one of the more popular players right now, she has dropped almost 100,000 coins in the last couple of days. In the last episode, I showed you guys uh, her card at 500k. I said she's going below that by Black Friday. She went well below that. And is she going to hit a, a little bit lower? To be honest, she has time to. This card could get a little bit lower by Friday, but I think as we get to Saturday, Sunday, this card is going to start going back up. It's more about timing the buy than what the price is. A lot of you guys ask me questions such as, hey, what should be the buy price for Caroline Graham Hansen? Or what's the buy price for Van Dyke? What price should I buy? And realistically, it's a lot harder for me to answer that question because I don't know what the lowest price is going to be, but I can more likely predict what the lowest time will be. So if you're able to time it right, then that is basically going to be the same answer you're looking for at the lowest price point. But in terms of a buy price, I don't know how low she could go, but we do know that there is another 48 hours at least where this card could be dropping in price. So be on the lookout for some of these meta cards on the weekend. Once you sell your fodder, once you liquidate, you want to get into some of those high rated metas as soon as you can. We've got some new packs added to the code. This one, 83 plus times 20. This pack is probably going to be in objectives, in my opinion. A lot of people are saying this could be a swaps program, one of those rewards that we see around this time every year, and it's a good time for it if it is part of a swaps token uh, program. That would be absolutely awesome, but I think it's just going to be in the new objectives because we do have new objectives coming to the game over the course of the next day or so. And that's a good reminder that you have uh, just a few hours left to complete Season 2 Act 1. There's so much XP available right now to get you to level 20. I could have probably gotten to like a level 30 this season with how much XP there is extra. But one thing you need to do right now, you can pause the video because this is urgent. Get the FC Pro Live SBCs completed right now. Now, there's only six of them, and once you complete all of them, you get a pack in return. Once you go to objectives, you get another pack for each of them in return as well, as maybe some XP for a few of them. And once you complete all six, you get an 81 plus times 11. On top of that, you get a jumbo rare players pack. On top of that, you get a 45k pack. There's no reason not to do these. They're pretty cheap, easy to do. I didn't have to buy a single card for any of them. They were all in my club. But even if you do have to buy cards, they'll be discard price. Get those done. Get some packs ready for this promo and you can save them for Friday if you'd like. But there's a couple other packs that are going to be added to the code. One of which is actually going to be a heroes pack, a dynamic duos hero pack. This pack is obviously going to be in the store. They're going to sell out for FC points as much as they can this weekend. It includes two hero player items, 86 or higher, and 20 rare gold player items. On top of that, we're also going to get a dynamic duo icons pack, which is also going to be in the store. And I believe that one said that there's going to be a max of 89 rated. On top of that, we also have a couple of leaked cards for the promo. I think we're going to get a lot more leaks over the course of the next 24 hours, but we do have Ronaldinho, we do have Cruyff, we do have Cantona, we also are going to get Henri, which EA actually leaked Henri themselves. They accidentally added uh, a different bio to his base card saying that he was going to get a Thunderstruck card, uh, but these cards can be upgraded based on IRL performances with their respective club that they played for or one of the clubs they played for like Cantona for Manchester United. If Manchester United win three of their next four league matches and I think there's going to be other ways to get those cards upgraded but I'm not 100% sure I'll have to look into it a little bit more. These cards are going to be super expensive so if you know you can't afford base icon Cantona, if you can't afford base Croy for base Ronaldinho, well on top of that they're going to get an upgrade and they have a dynamic ability to get an even higher upgrade so they're going to be ridiculous expensive cards for the top 1% of players in the game, maybe even the top 0.1% players in the game. 
are going to be playing with these cards. We're going to get some other cards that are a little bit cheaper. These are the first leaks that we've gotten. But we also have a leaked Team of the Week, which comes later today, with Salah, Bonmati, Coman, Luis Diaz, Lauren James, Barella, Araujo, Ala. But it's actually a pretty good Team of the Week, in my opinion. But Team of the Week 10 is always something that I genu uh, genuinely just never touch because Team of the Week 10 always gets too much supply to invest in. Maybe long-term it could work out, but... In terms of flipping these cards on a weekly basis, it's just not going to work like the other Team of the Week cards have in previous weeks. Now, you guys know I love trading with metas. That's my favorite way to trade. I don't really love fodder despite the fact that I'm pretty heavy into fodder right now. I like to trade with Team of the Week cards. I like to trade with new promo cards, but I haven't been able to do that much of that in November. It's going to come back after Black Friday is over, so that is when we're going to start looking at these cards. But what I'm telling you guys is that Team of the Week 10 is probably not something I'm going to touch. There's going to be way too many of these cards. And one thing you have to understand is that the power curve is changing still. We obviously are going to see a return to some of the best gold cards in the game, like Van Dyke, Caroline Graham, Hanson, Valverde. Those cards are going to rebound. They're going to do well. But these uh, Team of the Week cards that we see during Team of the Week 10, they might seem cheap, but realistically, they're just following the power curve. They're cheap for a reason, and they're not actually going to rebound to the moon unless you time it very right on like a panic selling moment or something along those lines. Just naturally, they're not going to be able to rise that quickly in comparison to previous weeks just because there's so many people who are one going to invest in those cards and two there's just so many people who are going to pack those cards the supply is going to be unreal fc pro live cards are only in packs for another six hours by the team time you see this it's going to be less or maybe they're already gone but the thing is they are dropping and they are dropping very very fast these cards are crashing in price and they are not looking like they're stopping anytime soon now deli alley his card peaked at like 160 after being a huge rise in price but some other cards that are pretty notable to be honest like caramo have only hovered between 50 and 60k all week and now he's starting to drop as he was 60k just a few hours ago you're looking at Kolo Muani, who every single time I refresh seems to be down another 5,000 coins if I look at the hourly graph we're gonna see that he was about 720k a few hours ago he is now down to 660 an hour ago he was 680 he seems like he is crashing pretty quickly but a lot of that's just because of the panic a lot of people are preparing for Black Friday they don't want to go into this promo with any meta cards even if they have a potential potential upgrade coming soon. These are going to be cards that will definitely have a buy window. Rather than Team of the Week 10, which I don't think will have a good buy window, I think they're going to steadily drop all weekend. This card, I think, could be one of the investments I make. And it doesn't even have to be Kolo Muani, you know, Willian, Caramo for some of the lower budgets. Maybe even Deli Ali sees a little bit of another bounce back up in price. Sadio Mane, I mean, all of these cards have their potential, and it really does come down to which pro player their card is attached to and how they perform. As we know, we are going to see on November 27th, the first games will be played for a potential upgrade on these cards. And so the five players that do play in that one, uh, I think one of them actually has Kolo Muani, one of them has Mane, um, another one has Malin, I believe, and then you've got uh, the Jean Rowe SBC and then the Red and Lodi as well. So those are the five cards that are going to be active earliest. Those are the cards that could rebound the quickest. So I'm looking over the course of the next 48 hours to maybe buy some of these cards and look for a rebound as we exit this weekend because they are going out of packs. We're going to see a huge influx in buying power into the game. And what I mean by buying power is the fact that once everybody sells their fodder investments, they're going to have so many coins. But not only the people that are investing like us, we're also going to see people who have saved packs are going to have more coins. The people that buy FC points, they're going to have more coins. And when everybody in the game is going to have more coins, that means that all of the cards that are really, really good in the game or really desirable, like dynamic cards, uh, like the FC Pro Live, possibly the Thunderstruck cards, even though they're going to be packed a lot, RTTKs after a rebound, um, maybe those will go back up in price. But what I'm saying is that when we see a lot of buying power, we do see an overall rise 
in the market. And so that's what we're expecting later this weekend. It's all about timing it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you do not miss out. Of course, I'll be active on Twitter all weekend. I'll be active on Twitch streaming almost every single day. It's gonna be exciting. Black Friday is here and drop a like on the video if you're excited as I am. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. Go ahead and comment whatever you want down below. I'll make sure to drop a heart on every single comment today. I don't care what you comment. I'm gonna drop a heart on it. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace out.